Hello, welcome to the Chargebee 101 series. In this video, we are going to learn about configuring invoices. Chargebee automates the process of invoicing whenever a customer is charged. An invoice can be sent to the customer as soon as they are charged or it can be added to the unbilled charges and be invoiced later. To access the invoices, click Invoices and Credit Notes and then Invoices, let us take a look at a sample invoice before we proceed with the settings. Alternatively, you can also access them from the Invoices tab under the respective customer or subscription. The Invoices page displays the status of the invoice. Chargebee has five different statuses, paid, payment due, not paid, pending, voided, and posted. Refer to our help docs to learn about the status. You can use the send email option to re-send the invoice to your customer. The PDF option displays the invoice that will be sent as an attachment to the customer. You can update the PO number by clicking update PO number. You can use the Update Address option to update or change the billing and shipping address for the invoice. The address that you update here is specific for the invoice and will not have any effect at the subscription level. You can issue a refund by clicking Issue a refund. The amount will be refunded to the original payment method and a credit note will be created. In case the payment was done offline or if you want to issue an offline refund, click Record an offline refund. If you want to create a credit note, click Create a Credit Note. If your invoice is in payment due, or not paid status you can set an expected payment date, or write off the invoice. Let us now take a look at managing the settings, click Settings, Configure Charge B, Invoices, Credit Notes and Quotes. You can preview the documents from the Preview section. The organization address that you add here will be displayed in the documents. You can optimize the fields that you want to display in your documents. You can upload an e-signature from the signature section. You should configure the invoice receipt email notifications to send an email to the customer whenever an invoice is generated. The invoice tab allows you to customize the elements in your invoice. You can configure the title, invoicing number, include fields, notes and payment information. Once you update the settings, apply the changes, you can preview the invoice using the preview option. Many a times a single customer might purchase multiple products. Raising a separate invoice for every single purchase is redundant and often spammy. Consolidated invoicing combines all these individual invoices into a single invoice that you can send across to your customer. Refer to our help docs to learn more about this feature. If you're running a business model that requires you to collect payments in advance, we have got you covered as well. To create an advance invoice for a subscription, navigate to the subscription details page, click Bill Future Renewals option. Enter the number of renewals and click Preview. Confirm the operation by clicking Generate. Check out the description to learn more. With this, we come to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Coming up next, credit notes.